After last week's heart-trenching and traumatizing episode of Outlander that featured the brutal rape of Brianna Fraser, Sophie Skelton, this week's episode included the reunion many fans were waiting for. This week's episode, The Birds and the Bees, starts directly after last week's episode, with Brianna returning to her tavern room after being raped by Stephen Bonnet, Ed Spielers. Lizzie, Caitlin O'Rean immediately realizes what happens and tries to take care of her. But Brianna is so traumatized she recoils when Lizzie tries to help her. Still, Lizzie is under the impression that Roger, Richard Rankin, was the culprit of this crime, since she saw him pull her aside in last week's episode. The next morning, Roger returns to the tavern to try and find Brianna, but instead he finds Bonnet who says that Roger must keep working on his crew of the Gloriana until they reach Philadelphia, or Bonnet will kill him. Or, as the nefarious Bonnet puts it, Roger is caught between a limb or a lass, and Roger ultimately sets sail with Bonnet, but tells the tavern owner to tell Bree he was there. Brianna still thought Roger had left her for good after their fight, unaware that Bonnet forced his hand. While things are certainly looking glum for Bree, Lizzie comes with good news, that Jamie Fraser, Sam Hewen, and Claire, Katrina Balfe, were spotted in Wilmington. Fans of Diana Gabaldon's book series will likely be happy to know that the moment Brie finds her father Jamie in the books was faithfully recreated in the show, with Brie finding dear old dad while he was peeing behind a building. Jamie first thinks Brie's trying to proposition him, insisting he's a married man, but he's taken aback when she knows his name ultimately revealing she's his daughter. They embrace and share a tender moment, with Jamie admitting he never imagined her as a grown woman before. He takes her to reunite with Claire, who comes out of her quarters, shocked to find Bree sitting on a bench next to Jamie. After the heartfelt reunion, Bree shows her parents their obituary, which explains why she was there, but there's nothing they can really do about that at the moment. Instead, Jamie invites his daughter to stay with them at Fraser's Ridge, to which Brie agrees, but on the condition that she brings Lizzie along as well. Brie also meets her cousin Ian, John Bell, who certainly eyes her as a romantic prospect, at least for a fleeting moment. Lizzie, on the other hand, is most certainly interested in Ian, although he just assumed she likes his dog Rolo, which is not true. Ian fills in Brie and Lizzie about their travels, including Bonnet stealing Claire's wedding ring. Brie comes to the realization that the man who raped her is the man who took advantage of her father. While Brie doesn't tell her parents about Bonnet raping her, she does tell them that she fears she'll never see Roger again. Brie also tells Claire that Frank, Tobias Menzies, also knew about the obituary death notice and never said anything, but he knew Claire would ultimately return to Jamie. Brie would ultimately become quite comfortable with life on Fraser's Ridge, surprising her father with her shooting abilities, which she learned from Frank. He invited his daughter to go hunting with him, where they had the opportunity to bond, although Brie admitted she felt disloyal to Frank by being with him. Jamie later confesses to Claire that he doesn't want Brie to return to her own time, even though they both agree it would be the best thing for her. Claire senses something isn't right with Brie, and when she confronts her about it, she admits that she is pregnant, though it might not be Roger's child. She then tearfully admits that Bonnet raped her, with Claire telling her daughter that it isn't her fault. Brie also said that Roger had pulled out, so she doesn't think the baby is his, and that it might be Bonnet's. Surprisingly, Roger had managed to free himself from Bonnet's employ, and made his way to Fraser's Ridge to find Brie. Lizzie Still thinking that Roger was the one who assaulted Bree, told Ian that Roger is the man who attacked Bree. Ian then told Jamie, who asked Lizzie if she's sure he's the man who attacked Bree, and she said she was positive. Jamie asked Lizzie to go back to the cabin and not tell Bree or Claire. While Roger is walking, minding his own business, Jamie attacks him and pummels the unsuspecting Roger to a bloody pulp. Ian then rides out to Jamie with Jamie telling Ian to get rid of Roger, and he doesn't want him killed because he doesn't want the blood on his hands. Ian rides off with Roger's unconscious body on his horse, with Bree not even knowing he had come for her. Meanwhile, Claire found her old silver wedding ring among Bree's things, 
which lead to Bree admitting to Claire that Bonnet was the man who raped her, but she promised not to tell Jamie.